Mr Blair, you've been advising ministers in public and in private. Looking at all the data you can see, do you think we're going to open up on the 21st of June? I think it's uncertain at the moment. And uh, the paper we're putting out today is, is saying we should really distinguish between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. So both here at home, if we, if we do have to adjust some of the freedoms because of the rising pressure from new variants, then it's important at least to ensure that those people who are vaccinated have the maximum freedom they can. And I think that could also be done for travel as well. Is it acceptable to turn down a vaccine, do you think? Unless you've got a good medical reason, my view very clearly is no. And I think that's why it's important to give people a real incentive to get vaccinated. Because, mm. you know, if, if you are vaccinated, the evidence is absolutely clear. It reduces the risk of transmission and it reduces the risk of hospitalisation or death. So would you make them mandatory? I don't think you can make them mandatory, but I think and this is what we're suggesting today. By making it clear that, for example, if you are vaccinated, if you're double vaccinated, it should be much easier to come in and out of the country. And indeed, around the world, I think, you will find that countries start to distinguish between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. So in Europe, for example, they're going to allow you to travel freely within Europe if you're double vaccinated. The trouble is, this does create, does it not, a two-tier society between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. Looking at your own paper, it says that if you haven't been vaccinated, you won't be able to go to nightclubs and theatres and big sporting events and many other places. So you will be discriminated against. Yeah, but I think, you know, the, the, the word discrimination has got a very loaded meeting mm. in, the, in, the, in the English language now. But really, when it comes to risk management, it's all about discrimination. So the reason we vaccinate elderly people first is they're more at risk. Um, the reason why we, we ensure that people are vaccinated is because it then reduces the risk of transmission, not merely of you getting ill yourself, but of you passing on the disease. So I think since everybody's going to be able to get the vaccination, other than those, as I say, who for medical reasons can't, then I, I think it really is important that people get encouraged to, to, to get vaccinated. And we also make suggestions as to how we can make sure you get proper proof of vaccination. I mean, actually, the NHS X people have done a good job in the NHS app, but we need to make that mm. interoperable with other systems so that you can use this as proof of vaccination sure. throughout the world. 